A lot of my projects on this channel are inspired by an idea or just something that I want to explore. But sometimes a project comes along that is actually born out of a real problem I need to solve. And here's a good example. If you're a maker, this is something you might be able to relate to. And this is what my space typically looks like when I'm in the middle of a project. You're going to get everything from wires, fixings, electrical components, other bits of hardware, all sort of lying around and sometimes it gets a little bit messy. This can also make it harder to find things and it can just add a little bit more friction into projects. And in general, a cluttered workspace means a cluttered mind, meaning you can't really get your best work out. And so, I'm going to try and fix this. Here's the plan. I want to try and make a modular project tray that helps me keep all project parts nice and organised whilst I'm working. The tray is going to be compartmentalised so that it doesn't really become one large space that you can throw things into. And best of all, it's going to be modular so you can rearrange it to however suits your needs. And lastly, once I'm done, I want to be able to stack the trays all together and put them away until I need them again. This stops the trays from becoming additional clutter. You might be wondering, how is this all going to work? Well, the answer is simple. We're going to be using some magnets. Magnets are really going to help this project come to life, so stick around and you'll see how I'm planning to use them. So the first step was deciding the dimensions of the tray. I wanted this to be made up of an assortment of sizes, so small, medium and large, and that helps make this as flexible as possible. I also want the largest tray to fit on one print sheet on my Prusa machine, so I'm going to be using that as a design constraint. With some rough dimensions in mind, I took some key measurements of my magnets in particular, and then I jumped into Fusion to start putting a model together. And after a handful of iterations, I landed on a model that I was happy with. To test the concept, I'm going to start off by printing two small trays, and these are the same size I'll keep for the final version. I printed these in black PETG just as a rough prototype to get everything going. So each side has two magnet holes and there's a magnet hole at the bottom as well because eventually I want to be able to stack these vertically. So in order to help the polarity stay consistent, the way I'm going to do this is on the left hole there's always going to be a north facing magnet and on the right side there's going to be a south facing magnet. So hopefully if you keep it consistent we should find that any two sides are able to fit together. So let's go ahead and get those magnets in and see how it goes. Alright guys, so that's the magnets inserted. Now for the moment of truth. Okay. That is not working. So I'm guessing I got the polarity on one of them wrong. I'm just going to go ahead and swap that over. Okay, let's have another go. Aha. There you go, so those two are snapping together quite nicely. Might need to adjust the tolerances a little bit because these magnets come out, but as a working concept, it's pretty good. So let's check. We should find that they snap together, irrespective of which side you use. Lovely, perfect, so that's all working good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the design and then we can get this printed in some nicer colors. Here's the final design in Fusion, consisting of six small trays, three medium trays and one large tray. I wanted to go for earthy natural colors just because it kind of matches the vibe I'm going for. So I've had to play around and this is what I landed on. Now it's time to go ahead and get everything printed.
All right, everyone, here is the finished article. So, first off, colors. I'm quite happy with that, actually. Um, it's a nice little color gradient, and it's nice neutral colors, but let me know in the comments down below if there's another scheme that you think would have looked better. So that's colors out of the way. Let's have a little demonstration as to how this works. So we've got a small, medium, and large. Small, medium, and then at the bottom, you've got your large. There we go. So zoom out a bit here. So those are the trays on their own. And the best part is everything connects with magnets. So now when I'm working, I can have these trays organized and arranged in whichever way suits me at the time, making things easier to work on. There you go. So you can change it. You can have it more, you can have it long way if that's what you prefer, or you can chain it this way. You can have it whichever way you prefer, or if you want to, you can have separate sort of components. So you can have a bit there, a bit there, and then maybe this bit over here. Perfect. And then once you're done, you stack everything together. So you get your mediums and you'll hear this very nice, satisfying click. There you go. And then you go ahead and fit them all together. And then you slot your small trays into the medium ones. And there you have it, our completed magnetic project tray. Now that the project tray was complete, I needed to find a way to store it on my pegboard so that it doesn't just sit on my desk. So I headed over onto printables and found some hooks that were compatible with my pegboard. I downloaded the step files, imported them into Fusion and made a few modifications to accommodate this project tray. And then once that was all done, it was time for a little bit more 3D printing. So now that this is done, when I'm working on projects, I'll be able to keep everything organized, stay on track, and hopefully this will help me make bigger and better projects in the future.